Yeah, so we're here in the, I would say, probably the geographic epicenter of uh, Copenhagen. Hi, I'm Julien de Smet. I run an office called JDS Architects in Brussels and Copenhagen. This is a harbour bath that we designed and built uh, up in 2002-2003. It's floating on the water of the harbour of Copenhagen. It's a very busy place in the summertime. You can see uh, thousands of people basically lying on the grass. The design is playful, you know, it's casual. People can come in and go. It's, it's not very regulated. The bath itself is quite simple. It's, uh, it's got three main pools. We actually stretched it as long as we could within the given area that we had. Uh, which makes it a length, a swimming length of more than 80 meters. So you have like three, four different uh, spots where you can jump from. But we also looked at it as a potential urban auditorium. So it's a form of a, a, a you know, a, a wide stair that could function as an auditorium. People can come and have discussions, have, you know, picnic on it. So it's being used at this kind of multifunctional place as well. And maybe it's also the kind of features that we're trying to develop and, and uh, incorporate in our new project which is on the other side and the idea there is basically to create a promenade that goes pretty much from the foot of the tower of the youth hostel out in the water as well floating on the water i mean copenhagen is a is a is a good laboratory for these kind of activities on the waterfront the waterfront that we're talking about is double-sided we're not facing you know, the ocean or the horizon. We're actually talking about this development being in, inside the city and with two sides to it, which is really exciting. And, and this location is very much, you know, the, the ultimate example of that, that condition is that we actually done this part and now we're doing the opposite side. And so we really have this, this kind of capacity at working in, on the, the two sides of the harbor and making it, in fact, one side. Europe is, is our main, sort of, uh, it's where we do most of our projects. Uh, the fact that we have so much history and we have so much uh, density is, is a kind of opportunity to, to, uh, um, for transformation. We, I mean, in our uh, quest for, you know, innovation in design, we actually like to look at history and we like to take on, you know, givens and like conditions that have been tested and try to kind of improve them or bring them to what you know our time is is needing and so it's quite interesting to actually understand how we could bring you know those old stones to something new and innovation doesn't start from scratch it really is really is about continuation and evolution rather than you know just only revolution the environment that surrounds us is really, you know, a playground. And I think, you know, if we're more kind of keen on trying to use it and trying to do more with it than just stay on the sidewalks and basically walk straight down the street, I think there's a lot of opportunities. <laughs>